Welcome back. A proposed state budget change would have trimmed $800,000 for victims of domestic violence. But today, lawmakers reconsidered that cut. News 2's Margaret Chadbourne spoke to one family impacted by domestic violence. The first time that he really attacked her uh, was Labor Day weekend. Doug Warner says he knew his daughter Liza was in trouble. Made some adjustments to get out of harm's way and get, and get away from him. He did what any father would do to help, but it wasn't enough. He broke into the house and he had a shotgun and uh, he killed her. Liza's story is hardly isolated. Nationwide, about three women are killed by a current or former partner every day. In South Carolina, the domestic murder rate consistently ranks the state among the nation's worst. And that's how Liza's Lifeline came to be, a nonprofit in the name of a person who should have lived past the age of 29. Her father started the 501c3 eight years ago to help fund victim activists. He teamed up with those in the community and set up a resource team. The people in the community that work with victims now know each other. The group includes law enforcement officers and representatives from counseling agencies with the aim to provide a roadmap for victims and families who need emergency care. Called the Tri-County Domestic Violence Coordinating Council, they ensure those like Liza have the help they need. I had 29 years with this remarkable woman. Sorry. Still hurts. Liza's family tells us each year they celebrate her birthday by going out to eat, and they often take a walk on the beach to mark the anniversary of her death. Margaret Chadbourne, News 2.